Udupi Rajagopalacharya Ananthamurthy the 21st of December 1932 to the 22nd of August 2014 was a contemporary writer and critic in the Kannada language born in Thirtahalli Taluk and is considered as one of the pioneers of the Navya movement. He is the sixth writer to be honored with the Jnanpith Award for the Kannada language, the highest literary honor conferred in India. In 1998, he received the Padma Bhushan Award from the Government of India. He was the Vice Chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala during the late 1980s. He was one of the finalists of Man Booker International Prize for the year 2013. He remained a fervent critic of nationalistic political parties until his death from renal failure and cardiac arrest on the 22nd of August 2014. Topic: Early life. Ananthamurthy was born in Melaj, in Tirthahalli Taluk in the Shimoga district. His education started in a traditional Sanskrit school in Dorvasapura and continued in Tirthahalli and Mysore. After receiving a Master of Arts degree from the University of Mysore, U. R. Ananthamurthy taught in the English department at University of Mysore pictured for a while before embarking to England for further studies on a Commonwealth scholarship. He earned his doctorate from the University of Birmingham in 1966 for his dissertation thesis entitled, Politics and Fiction in the 1930s. Career Ananthamurthy started his career as a professor and instructor in 1970 in English Department of University of Mysore. He was the vice chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi University in Kadiyam, Kerala from 1987 to 1991. He served as the chairman of National Book Trust India for the year 1992. In 1993 he was elected as the president of Sahitya Academy. He served as a visiting professor in many renowned Indian and foreign universities including Jawaharlal Nehru University, Eberhard Karls University of Tübingen, University of Iowa, Tufts University and Shivaji University. Ananthamurthy served twice as the chairman of the Film and Television Institute of India. In 2012 he was appointed the first Chancellor of Central University of Karnataka. Ananthamurthy has participated and delivered lectures in numerous seminars as writer and orator both in and outside the country. He was the member of the Committee of Indian Writers and visited countries like the Soviet Union, Hungary, France and West Germany in 1990. He visited Moscow in 1989 as board member for a Soviet newspaper. Ananthamurthy was the leader for the Committee of Writers who visited China in 1993. <inaudible> <inaudible> literary works Ananthamurthy's works have been translated into several Indian and European languages and have been awarded with important literary prizes. His main works include Samskara, Bhava, Bharati Pura, and Avast. He has written numerous short stories as well. Several of his novels and short fictions have been made into movies. Most of Ananthamurthy's literary works deal with psychological aspects of people in different situations, times and circumstances. His writings supposedly analyze aspects ranging from challenges and changes faced by Brahmin families of Karnataka to bureaucrats dealing with politics influencing their work. Most of his novels are on reaction of individuals to situations that are unusual and artificial. Results of influences of socio-political and economic changes on traditional Hindu societies of India and clashes due to such influences, between a father and a son, husband and wife, father and daughter and finally, the fine love that flows beneath all such clashes are portrayed by Ananthamurthy in his works. This is evident in his stories like Soriana Kador, the Grasshopper, Moni, Silent Man, Karthika, etc. It does not mean that Ananthamurthy is just clinging to portraying only such somewhat standard subjects of Indian literature of his period. His novelette, Bara, Drought, portrays the dynamics of a drought-stricken district of Karnataka and the challenges and dilemmas a bureaucrat may face in such situations. The central figure of the novel Soriana Kador, Venkata is shunned by his son and wife for his easy-going attitude that does not take him anywhere. Venkata is a non-achiever who could not achieve any material or monetary success in his life. However, he is a simpleton who does not take life's suffering to his heart too much. He likes to see life as living in the love of Amma or Mother Goddess. 
In all sufferings of life, he has the childlike curiosity about the smallest things in life, like a grasshopper Soriana Kador. The evening after his son revolts and leaves the house, he would be engrossed in a sight in his yard, a grasshopper shining in the sun's light. His several novels were made into films like Samskara, Bara, Avaste, Moni, Diksha. Personal life U. R. Ananthamurthy met his wife Esther in 1954 and they were married in 1956. They had two children, Sharat and Anuradha. He resided in Bangalore for most of his later life. <laughs> Political career U. R. Ananthamurthy made an unsuccessful run for the Lok Sabha in 2004 in which he stated that his prime ideological objective in opting to contest the elections was to fight the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, a Janata Dal secular leader and former Prime Minister of India H. D. Dev Gowda had made an offer for Murthy to contest for his party. However, after the Janata Dal secular worked a power-sharing agreement with the BJP, Murthy said, Ananthamurthy also contested for the Rajya Sabha elections from State Assembly in 2006. The idea proposed by Ananthamurthy to rename ten cities in Karnataka, including Bengaluru, from their colonial forms to actual native forms was accepted by the government of Karnataka, and the cities were renamed on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the formation of Karnataka. Controversies In June 2007, Ananthamurthy declared that he would not take part in literary functions in future in the wake of strong criticism for his reaction on S.L. Barappa's controversial novel Avarana that appeared in a section of the media. However Murthy's comment that Barappa does not know how to write novels was criticized by some section of the media. In 2013, Murthy's statement that there is a reference in the Mahabharata to Brahmins consuming beef drew flack from Hindu religious leaders. Vishwisha Tirtha Swami of Pejawar Math commented that there was no reference to Brahmins consuming beef in the conversation between Bhishma and Yudhishthira or anywhere else in the Mahabharata and Murthy's statement came as a surprise to him. A vocal critic of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh and Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, Jan Sang for over 50 years, Murthy said in 2013 that he would not live in the country ruled by BJP leader Narendra Modi. He later clarified that those remarks were made when he was overcome by emotion and said that he had no such plan, though he continued to oppose BJP. Murthy was given special police protection after he began receiving threatening phone calls. Later when Modi became the Prime Minister he was given a free ticket to Pakistan by a group of Modi supporters called Namo Brigade. The co-founder of Namo Brigade, Chakravarti Sulibele, publicly criticized Murthy quoting, The mandate after the results were out was quite clear. Mr. Ananthamurthy must respect the majority sentiment and accept it. If he does not accept the mandate and thinks Pakistan is a more secular country, then that is where he should be living. He also added, we decided to send him to Pakistan because he always talks about how our relationship with Muslims should be. So we thought maybe he likes Pakistan's secularism model better and better be sent there. After Murthy's death was announced on the 22nd of August 2014, several BJP and Hindu Jagarana Vidike were booked for celebrating his death by bursting crackers at four places in Mangalore and one spot in Chikamagaluru. Topic. Awards 1984, Rajyotsava Award 1994, Jnanpith Award 1998, Padma Bhushan 2004, Sahitya Akademi Fellowship 2008, Nadoha Award by Kannada University 2011, shortlisted for the Hindu Literary Prize 2012 D. Lit. Honoris Causa of the University of Calcutta 2013, nominated, Man Booker International Prize Karnataka State Film Awards 1970-71 Best Story Writer, Samskara 1970 1977-78 Best Story Writer, Gadishrada 1977 
1987-88 Best Dialogue Writer, Avist Shared with Krishna Masadi 2002-03 Best Story Writer, Moni Death Ananthamurthy died of cardiac arrest on the 22nd of August 2014 at Manipal Hospital in Bangalore, India, aged 81. He had been suffering from kidney-related disease for some years and was undergoing dialysis treatment with diabetes and heart problem. He was admitted to Manipal Hospital on the 13th of August with an infection and fever and underwent treatment on a multi-support system. Several luminaries including the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, paid their condolences to Ananathamurthy's death. Topic: <inaudible> Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Below here is a selected list of his books. Topic: <laughs> Short story collections. Indendigu Mugiyada Keda Moni Prashni Pash Resort Akasha Matu Beku Eridu Dashikata Katagalu Idu Dashikata Katagalu Topic: Novels. Samskara, Sanskara Bharathapura, Bharatipura Avist, Avist Bhava, Bhava Divya, Divya. Topic: Plays. Avahain. Topic: Collection of poems. 15 Padiagalu Mathuna Ajana Higala Sukyugalu Topic Literary Criticism and Essays Pragne Matthew Parasara Sanivsha Samakshama Porvapara Yugapalada Valmikya Navadali Matu Sotha Bharatha Sadhya Madhu Shashvata Topic Autobiography Saragi Topic Journalism Editor Rujuvathu Rujuvathu Topic Footnotes External links U. R. Ananthamurthy's writings and blog I. A. Brahman, Ananthamurthy's article Biography from the International Literature Festival Berlin